welcome guys this is a part 4 of my autocad tutorial series okay if you still not watch the another part 1 and part 2 then you can see it i'll give the link uh, below the video in the description okay so i'll uh, today tell about the draw panel okay so first option first tool you can see here the line just select line and here uh, if you want to draw line between this point uh, just click here and then click here and you can see the line is drawn okay uh, here another option available in the line like the select line and you can see the line is straight okay but uh, in some case if you have uh, not the straight line here you, uh, I'm just pressing F8 if you have a line like this then you have to press the F8 to draw the straight line i'm just pressing the f8 and here you can see the line is drawn okay if you want to draw a line uh, according to your length and angle then it is very easy suppose uh, here i i want to draw a line like this uh, at a 45 degree angle and uh, something like uh, five feet so i'm just uh, select the first point and here you can see if i want to draw a line at a 45 degree and uh, two feet Okay, then two feet and then press tab and then here 45 then enter and you can see the line is drawn according to our parameters and uh, if you want to measure it then here you can see the measure tool available just uh, click the measure and uh, uh, specify the first point and then the second point and here you can see the all parameters of our line like angle length vertical length horizontal length, and various okay it is very easy and just delete it now the second option is polyline if you want to draw an object uh, which is bounded by a various line like this if you if i want to uh, object like this i'm just straight it by the pressing f8 i want to draw object like this okay this is not a, uh, different types of line this is an entire object okay, you can see this is an entire object if I draw this object by the line, you can see here. If I if I object like same object uh, by the line, okay, it is a it, the object is being from the various components of line. You can see a uh, one line, second line, and various. Okay, and this object is one object. Okay, you can understand. I think. Okay, just I am deleted. This is the difference between polyline and simple line. Okay, the another is you can see here circle first is center circle if you have any center and radius then you can uh, draw a circle very easily suppose uh, just uh, click here to draw a circle uh, to specify the center and then enter your radius if, uh, if you want to draw circle of one feet you know four inch just type here and enter and you can see the circle is easily drawn and just delete it and uh, here the another option is center and diameter if you have center and diameter then simply you know it is very simple and uh, after that you can see the two point circle here if you want uh, to draw circle uh, between the between them here uh, we have two point the first point and the second point and if i want to draw a circle between them then it is very easy first of all select the two point circle and then specify the first point and then specify the second point and you can see the circle is actually drawn between those points i'm just and another option is here you can see three point circle also this is a look like uh, two point but here we have three point like if you if i want to draw circle between this three point like this and this and this then i want to select it first point then sorry so select and then first point second point and third point okay here you can see circle is drawn according to this three point okay if you want to use it according to your choice and there is another two option this is uh, like the two point and three point if you have a two tangent then it is very easy and if you have three tangent then it is very easy okay here we have another option is arc first option is three point arc okay if you want to draw an arc between a uh, uh, specified three point then uh, you have to choose this option okay then specify your first point then specify your second point and then specify your 
third point you can see the arc is drawn if you have three point uh, or specified uh, already then you can use this arc and there are another option of arc is start center and end if you want to draw here uh, like a door okay uh, then you have to use this option start center and end if i want to draw a door like this of this uh, then we have to first of all uh, start uh, first point and and just select it first point and then we have to uh, choose our center like this a center and then we have to you can see the arc is drawn okay here you can see that the arc is actually drawn in outside but i want to draw here okay uh, just press control and you can see here the, our arc is drawn and just click now uh, here i want to draw a line okay, just take line and just click here and click here and you can see the draw is uh, sorry the door is drawn okay here various types of arc available uh, if you want to use it then you can uh, use it uh, there are very easy according to first okay now another you can see here this first is rectangle rectangle is you know very easy uh, specify the first corner and then is other corner it is very easy draw the rectangle okay uh, here uh, you have to if you want to uh, draw any specified rectangle you can here you can see the if you want to draw like three feet by four feet you have to type three feet and then tap then four feet and then tap and you can see the uh, the rectangle is drawn it is very easy to draw the rectangle and uh, the another option here is a polygon just select the polygon and then you have to first uh, enter the sides of your polygon here i am going to enter five sides and then enter okay first of all you have to specify your center this i am going to specify center uh, like here and then here two option inscribed in circle and circumscribed in circle okay i'm just first and then i will tell you about the second also here uh, i am drawing a circle bar of two feet okay now uh, sorry circle this, this is a polygon i'm drawing about uh, i'm drawing the polygon about uh, i'm drawing polygon of radius two feet and then we have another second option is available so i'm just uh, we are seeing it just specify first five and then enter then center and then the center and here now we are choosing the second okay and now here two feet and then enter and then you can see we draw the both uh, polygon with same uh, radius uh, what is the difference between them okay just take a circle okay and here you can see the center and draw the circle uh, for two feet okay and uh, in the second polygon we have to also draw in a circle of two feet okay now you can see uh, in first case the circle is uh, outside the polygon and touches the corner of the polygon okay and the second case the circle is inside and touch the edges this is a difference between those this is very easy you can draw with uh, according to you okay now here another option is ellipse okay uh, first one is center okay, if you want to draw any ellipse okay, just first specify the center of ellipse here i am specifying my center and then you have to specify the end point here i am going to like uh, five feet okay then enter and you can see and just you have to uh, uh, move your mouse and you can see these uh, ellipse according to you uh, if you want to if you have any uh, parameter then enter here like i want to uh, i have a major axis about 12 feet i'm just at 12 feet and then enter you can see uh, 12 feet and uh, another is i don't know what is there you can see the ellipse okay now here another option it is uh, look look like this okay so and if you want to draw any elliptical arc then click here and first of all you have to uh, specify the end point okay here i am going to specify my end point here and then you have to other end you have to specify other end point and here and you can see the ellipse is drawn and you, okay here you can see the uh, full ellipse but if you want to draw any arc just click here you can see the arc 
and if you want to draw any arc according to your angle uh, just press F8 and as you can see you can draw an elliptical arc according to your specified angle okay it is very easy okay now another is uh, okay and then the hatch you just clear the select hatch and if you want to hatch this just click here here you can see your hatch is not so on here you can here you can see various types of hatch like uh, inclined line inclined double line and various types i'm just choose it, uh, choose it here i'm choose it but here you can see the hatches is not shown uh, you have uh, now you have to change the scale i'm just changing the scale and you can see it is properly shown in our area it is very easy to use if you want to use H in, in your area it is very easy if i'm just trying another another H here you can see various types of H. Okay, if you want to incline it then you can see your angle also if you want to incline here you can see our H is also inclined it okay if you want to hear uh, H transparency also available if you want to make it transparent or non-transparent then it is very easy okay so this is the full draw panel okay now uh, you can uh, use uh, various tool according to your project okay thanks for watching this video and uh, if you like it then please share it and subscribe our channel to watch more videos thank you thank you very much